full pot the budget as an instrument of politics found full play this year so the budget as an instrument of politics so it basically means that um, budget is something that controls the politics in every country so it is also same in india and that thing and budget it found the full uh, it found full play this year the largest to the election going states of kerala tamil nadu west bengal and assam in the in the budget presented by the finance minister nirmala sitaraman on monday was unmistakable so as we all know the finance minister of india is nirmala sitaraman um, and she gave a largest um, to the states which are conducting elections um, so those states are, uh, are kerala tamil nadu west bengal and assam so in all of these states they are conducting elections and hence um, and hence and hence nirmala sitaraman um, she gave largest to all of the states largest um, it it means nothing but um, um, large amounts of money for free and that was unmistakable and the, and the decision which was um, an addition of of giving the largest to those states taken um, taken by the finance minister um, it was unmistakable it means that it was correct the massive the massive outlay of 65000 crore rupees for the development of the nh66 corridor in kerala as well as the announcement of the second phase of the kochi metro and the development of the kochi fishing harbor as a commercial hub as a commercial hub are big ticket budget proposals by any standard so uh, um, so in this year there are three things um, in this year um, in this year there uh, there are three things which need a huge amount of money the first one is a massive layout of the development of the nh66 corridor in kerala and for that um, 65000 crore rupees of the budget will be spent and the next is the is the second phase of the kochi metro development and, um, and 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 even for that some amount, some amount of money of the largest will be given and the development of the kochi fishing harbor as a commercial hub and also the fishing harbor in kochi um, this year it will be developed to a commercial hub to a commercial to a commercial hub and and even for that um, some some amount of the budget is needed and these are big tick and these are big ticket budget proposals by any standard and from any perspective all of these three need huge amounts of money mrs sita raman announced that the national highway works uh, works works worth 19000 crore rupees are in progress in assam and projects of more than 34000 crore rupees covering over 1300 kilometers of national highways will be undertaken in the state within the next 3 years so Mrs. Um, so Mrs. Nimala Sita Raman, our finance minister, she has said that nineteen thousand crore rupees are in the pro, um, are in progress in Assam. So ninety thousand crore rupees are given to the state of Assam, um, and all are given to the state of Assam, and more uh, and projects which are worth more than thirty four thousand crore rupees are to be taken uh, are uh, are to be undertaken in the next three years in of our country's development. and also over 1300 kilometers of railways will be constructed or they will be laid all, all over india in the next in the next 3 years the bjp has been harping on the transformation on the transformation of assam's road network over the last 5 years to shake to showcase its focus on infrastructure development so uh, so bjp the central government um, it's it's trying to it's it's trying to save every citizen of every citizen of india is, is um, that um the party bjp or the central government um, it it would be focusing more on the um, it will be focusing more on the development of infrastructure and it will not allow any building uh, or any um, or an or any li- railway or anything to fail so it is trying to it is trying to say that in this way um it has it has been harping means it has been constantly saying it has been constant saying everyone about the transformation of assam's road network over the last 5 years so basically the bjp government um, it is constantly saying everyone that we are trying to develop the um, the we are tra- we are trying to develop the assam's road network for west bengal there is a new economic corridor covering 675 kilometers of national highway with an ex- with an expected investment of 25000 crore rupees and if you come to the uh, if you come to the scenario of west bengal here national highways are constructed uh, and uh, and those national highways will be constructed uh, about 675 kilometers and the overall cost would be 25000 crore rupees for any industry uh, for an industry for any for any for an industry starved state which is still trying to wish away its anti industry image 
investment in, in infrastructure was aimed to give a message that the BJP has plans to bring in uh, has has plans to bring in investment in the state. So West Bengal, um, so West Bengal is no, is known as a state um, in which there are not many industries, and also um, investment in infrastructure. So um, as I told you before, B BJP is trying to prove everyone that um, it it is it will be giving huge importance to the infra to the um, to the structure to the st um, to the strength of the structures and 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 the infrastructures of India. So it is also trying to. Um, improve and develop the uh, factories industries and infrastructures of factories and industries in the state of west bengal um, um, and 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 by the way west bengal um, it, is, it is a state um, that is not popularly known that is not uh, popularly known for its industries the party has started saying that the announcement was the beginning of the sonar bangla and the B party um, here the, the party cites to the BJP party has started has started saying that the announcement was the beginning of Sonar of Sonar Bangla. So the announcement of improve uh, the announcement which said uh, we'll be improving the infrastructure. It was just the starting of Sonar Bangla. For Tamil Nadu, the proposed projects could cost up to lakh crore rupees, and uh, and and in the case of Tamil Nadu, uh, the projects which were proposed by Mrs. Nimala Sitaraman, our finance minister, those would cost up to uh, 1 lakh crore rupees. This includes the Chennai Metro Rail of 1 of 108, 100.9 kilometers for 63,000 crore, for 63,246 crore, uh, thousand crore rupees and two, ex, and two express, and two express waves um, connecting Ch Chennai. So as I said, um, the total budget in the state of Tamil Nadu and the total money which um, which is needed for the development of all the aspects of Tamil Nadu in the next three years will be cost will be will will be adding up to uh, approximately one lakh crore rupees, and the uh, and the projects of that are this. This includes the Chennai Metro Rail. So the second phase of the Chennai Metro Rail. Um, now in the um, in in the present three in the continuing three years, um, the development of the second wave second phase will be undertaken. And the cost of that will be uh, sixty three thousand two hundred forty six crore rupees for a uh, distance of one hundred eighteen point six kilometers, and two expressways connecting Chennai, um, and uh, and also two expressways uh, which go through the Chennai, which go through Chennai. Expressways or highways, they both mean the same. But here, the uh, here they mean the highways of the uh, of the of the trains or or the metros. Besides the infrastructure and locations, the budget also seeks notable social sector invest um, in in interventions in these states. So besides infrastructure allocations, so all of, um, so all of this money given to the development of uh, these various states, um, which uh, what uh, um, all uh, uh, until now we have discussed about only the development of the infrastructure in various states. So besides that, so besides infrastructure allocations. The budget also seeks notable social um, social sector interventions, not only in not only in the infrastructure sector, but it is also investing. But our budget it will also be investing in the social sector interventions in these states. In the same state, in the same states uh, like West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Assam, and Kerala, not only in the infrastructure development, the budget will also be invested in the social sector development. Assam and West Bengal get a special scheme with a thousand crore rupees outlay for the welfare of tea workers, especially women and children. So, so now we'll be covering uh, um, state by state um, ab about about the budget investments aside from infrastructure. So, starting from starting with Assam and West Bengal, these two states they got a special uh, they they got a special case. Um, so they'll be um, they'll be having a special provision, and that is. Um, both of these states will be given 1000 crore rupees each um, for the benefit of tea workers including women and children plantation workers and descendants or tea tribes or and on ex tea tribes com um, comprise almost 20% of assam's total population and are a decisive factor um, in many assembly seats in assam and west bengal um, so plantation workers and descendants or tea tribes, so the uh, so the people who work in the um, plantations of tea, which are usually um, extremely famous from uh, in the part of Kerala, 
um, so the so the workers from that and also the descent on and also the descendants or the t tribes and ex t tribes so um so any of these members the the, the descendants um, t tribe or the ex or the ex t tribes um actually both actually all of these three are the same and um the and the descendants um, those people they contribute almost twenty percent of the Assam's total population and hence they play a major role in the in the assembly seats. The budget is an instrument of politics of politics, but it should not be predict it should not it should not be predicated entirely on immediate electoral calculations. The budget is an instrument of is an instrument of uh, politics. Yes, it is true that the budget is the thing which controls the politics, but um, but it is um, but um, but it should not be predicated entirely on immediate electoral calculations. Uh, but the budget is, it should not be estimated immediately just because of the um, electoral calculations. The BJP's single-minded pursuit of its ideological politics is often a source of tensions. But its development politics expressed in the budget, particularly signif but particularly that significant outlays for infrastructure, has be, has to be appreciated. So the BJP's mindset of focusing complete of uh, focusing mostly on the infrastructure development it must be appreciated because that's not a very easy that's not easy thing to do, and most importantly, that's the thing which India needs. Uh, that's the thing which India needs right now. Many of the weak infrastructures have been. Uh, exposed by the pandemic um, for example many people died in a hospital due to a fire problem and so on um, and even if and even uh, even uh, a thermal a thermal power station collapsed near uh, um, collapsed near sri Salem and also near hyderabad so all of these have exposed the uh, weak infrastructures of our country so bjp um, its idea it, um, its idea to focus on the infrastructure in these three years is a very good thing so it must be appreciated. The BJP is trying to is trying to retain power in Assam and in West Bengal. It is within striking distance. So, so BJP is trying to uh, is trying to come in the power is trying to come is trying to come in power in these states, um, Assam and West Bengal. So, um, it is it is um, so one so it basically means that one of the members of the BJP um, will, will be becoming the will will be becoming. The, the chief minister of uh, West Bengal and Assam. At least it's hoping to do so. And also it is very near. It may do. Um, the percentages of BJP doing so are very high. In, a, in Tamil Nadu and Kerala, it is quite a distance away from being a serious contender of power. But that's not the case in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Um, its power is, um, it's, it, uh, it doesn't have much impact on the people of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So BJP, it has a very low chance um, it has a very low chance um, um, in uh, in taking the power in the states like um, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The allocations for these states are therefore a significant statement of intent by the party. So, uh, if BJ, uh, so, so um, the current situation is that BJP knows that um, it is um, it is not it is not a powerful contender or a powerful opponent in these states, um, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, but. If BJP still pays attention to the infrastructure development of these states, um, it really means a lot to those states. So, because of that, um, these states may actually elect BJP instead of any other party. The projects here will take a few years to complete, but have considerable transformative potential. So, the projects in these states, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, um, these um, the projects to be finished successfully, they have a lot. Um, it may be possible the the projects may be finished uh, may be finished um, successfully but it it will takes it will take a long long amount of time and uh, even the development of the projects they have the potential to be occurred in occurred in these states the bjp appears serious about its about its southern foray but its but its but, but its rivals might not allow it to take full credit of the allocation of the state resources so the BJP appears serious about its about its southern foray. So first of all, foray, uh, foray means foray means a quick visit to something. So BJP uh, is is not um, is the government of the total India. So it's not only serious about in, about the in northern India, it is also serious about the southern India. 
um, but its rivals might not allow it to take full credit for the allocation of the state resources. But the rivals of BJP or the other contending, uh, other contending uh, uh, parties with BJP for the for becoming the chief minister of the states as uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So those parties or uh, those people, um, those parties might not allow BJP to take the whole credit for the resources which those states will be receiving, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Thank you.